Hi there! Talking about financial fear. <laughs> okay, so um, have you thought about what you really want? Have you thought about where you could cut back a little bit in your life? Where you could save a little bit? Today I want to tell you again how powerful you are. You know, instead of feeling like a victim of this whole situation, you know what really determines our experience of life? The meaning we give to life situations determines how we experience every single moment of our life. So, okay, maybe right now you're experiencing a loss of money, okay? And this is why you are suffering from financial fear. You might have lost your job or uh, you have less clients than usual. Maybe you're working less hours. All right, that's okay. Or one family member lost the job. So, you have less money available, okay? So, what meaning are you giving to this situation? Are you giving this situation and this shortage of money right now, temporary shortage of money, it's only temporary, um, are you giving it the meaning that, oh my God, my life's going to end, oh my God, I'm going to die, oh my God, this is horrible, we can't afford this, we don't have this, I can't buy this, oh my God, where, what am I going to, my neighbors are going to think, oh, maybe my kids have to change school and they have to go to public school now. Uh, what meaning are you giving to this current situation? So obviously, if you give it this meaning, like my life's going to end, I can't afford going to a restaurant anymore, I can't afford this, and you're looking at only the things that are lacking, only the things that you are not having, and you can't afford right at the moment, obviously, what's the result? Fear, anxiety, sadness, um, you feel bad. You create bad emotions. So how could you change your perception? One of my kind, my teachers used to say, a shift or magic is a shift in perception. And this is what we have to do. Now, what other meaning could we give this current situation hmm, and this financial fear to create better emotions? So as I said before, now, you know, we know where our planet stands right now, right? With our consumerism and our capitalism, we are destroying Mother Earth. We are destroying the peace in the world. Like we are destroying our resources, right? So that's a fact. We can't deny that. So maybe we can all see this as a chance to live a more humble life maybe we can see that as a chance to show ourselves that life can be good even with less things because all our life is about things possessions you know all our life is about what other people think about us what do i care what other people think about me if i wake up at night and i can't fall asleep just because I have to have this big car so that my neighbors can see, well, I'm successful in my job. So take this chance to take your power back and give this situation different meaning. Be grateful, learn, take this situation to become more grateful. Take this situation to learn to appreciate the little pleasures of life. Take this situations as a chance to appreciate sunshine, appreciate a smile from a stranger, appreciate a kind message from a friend, appreciate having running water, access to running water, appreciate having access to electricity. I was talking the other day, I have a friend on Instagram, he's a young guy from Nigeria, from Africa, and I felt I felt so ignorant because I, he said to me he can't go back to school because of the pandemic. And I asked him, well, are you having online classes? And he sent me a message. He said, well, how can I have online classes? We don't have electricity and we don't have access to Internet. So there is no uh, online school there. So, you know, then you will start thinking, you know, well, we are so lucky. The fact that you have access to Internet, that makes you already 
part of the luckier group on this planet, right? So take this chance. Mm? See this as an opportunity to become a better person, a kinder person, to be, to have more empathy, to become more compassionate, more understanding, open your view of the world. Look around you. People are living in circumstances with, with much less things and they are still living. Mm? Take this chance, take this opportunity, give this situation a meaning of, Mm, you know, now I have a chance of becoming creative. How can I, for example, um, use old clothes and create something new? How can I start wearing my old clothes again in a different way? How can I travel with less money? If you're allowed to travel, you know, maybe you could go camping. Have you ever tried to go camping? It's cool. And even if a bed in a five-star hotel is much more comfortable, but camping is cool. And what about, you know, like, okay, maybe you can't afford going to the restaurants. Well, then maybe it's an opportunity for you to learn cooking. Hmm? Maybe you can't afford your expensive mm, creams. Maybe that's an opportunity to start making your own. Maybe you can't afford um, go a certain remedies or certain medicines or something. I'm not talking about the medicine you really need to survive. Um, maybe you can take this opportunity to figure out how plants can heal you, how yourself can learn how to heal you, heal yourself. So, you know, Maybe you see the situation as a chance to stick together, talk about it with other people and figure out that we are all sitting in the same boat. Take this chance to learn to care less what other people think about you. Hmm? Because you don't need that car, that house, that expensive stuff to impress anyone. Who really cares? You have to feel okay. You have to feel fine. So the meaning you give to every single life event, the meaning you give to every single situation, the meaning you give to every chance, change, sorry, that's determining, that determines how you experience the situation, how you feel, what emotions you are having. Mm? So this is your power. Okay, you can choose. The situation means for me devastation. Uh, it means only loss. It means only uh, stepping back from my comfortable life. Or you can give it the meaning of that's a chance. That's a chance to becoming a better person. That's a chance to, to learn to live is less. That's a chance to create freedom. Because if I don't need so many things anymore... I don't need to work so much anymore. I don't put so much pressure and so much stress on myself anymore. And I gain freedom. Hmm? Give a different meaning to this situation. Try that out. Try it out. And always, if you have trouble or if you think I'm telling you bullshit and you can't, you don't know what to do with the tips I'm giving you, write me. I'm open for anything and I'll get back to you, okay? So try it out. Hmm? Try to give this whole situation a different meaning, a meaning that makes you feel good. Because you have to think about yourself. Because if you feel good and you are adapting to this situation, the people around you will adapt to it. The people around you will feel that calmness and that security and that stability and that balance and that acceptance that you are developing for yourself hmm? and you are once you filled up your cup once you are okay with the situation then you can again help other people around you to be okay with the situation so good luck first video was how could you cut back second hmm, what do you really want do you really want all the stuff you think you need? And now it's like, what meaning? What other meaning could you give to this whole situation hmm, that would make you feel better? Let me know. Getting back to you soon. Hmm? <laughs>